I've I've always been act, singing, dancing, and those things. But when my parents realized, they signed me up for classes, and I also started following tutorials on YouTube. I like singing most because singing when I sing I feel like um I'm just letting out my emotions I'm being free it's just fun for me to sing I feel happy when I'm singing When I was small, I, I, I just made songs in, uh, um, in the action that I'm doing, like when I want to eat, I make a song, stuff like that. So my parents really wanted to nurture that talent, so they hired a music coach for me, which is Helen Tawali. I study at... AOV, online classes. First things first, you need the tune. Then you can go on by doing a simple exercise, voice exercise that goes, ah, 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 ah. then you can go a little bit faster. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, for me, Crucial is a very special song. During my youthful days, I really loved that song. So a fan, her fan requested that she does that song and okay, I called her and, and told her sit here, we, are, we have a song to do for a fan and then uh, we took, I took a video of her and posted, I didn't know if it would go that viral. But what I saw was so overwhelming. It was such a good experience. <laughs> yeah, she had already done the song in an assignment from her music classes, so she had the lyrics already. There's this song called Love of My Life. I don't remember who it was from. And Hallelujah. And Hallelujah as well. Strength of a Woman too. Yeah, and Strength of a Woman. And I felt like I sang them pretty well. I felt like those were my best songs. Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor falls and the major lifts, the back. Hallelujah. For her, it's it's not hard because what she does is like a natural gifting. Singing doesn't take any much. She, she will not strain to sing. She will not strain to do acting. She will not strain to to memorize the scripts. So, but we have a timetable. She has to go to school. Of course, the normal hours. Then in the evening, she she goes into her online classes, one hour. Then she has to do her homework and play. Saturdays are dedicated for gymnastics and dance. Then on Sunday, she goes to church. Yeah, as my mom has said, um, I have a timetable, so I plan. I plan when I'm doing a certain thing. So on, on weekdays, I go to school. I come back home. I do my homework. On weekdays, I just focus on my studies. Then when I come from school, I do my homework, then I go play. I come back. And then on weekends, I practice my talents, like on Saturdays, dancing and gymnastics. Sometimes I sing. Yeah. And what she does, is, it's like part of play. Because, for example, gymnastics and the dance. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's part of play because she interacts with her age mates. They, they, it's a group. Here I metoka kwa mungu. I cannot point out someone who is, is as talented as she is. It's just hers. <laughs> I've mentored her because uh, it took me time to figure out what I can do with her because it wasn't easy. She can do a number of things. So it really takes a strong mother <laughs> to work with her. So I have mentored her all through. Then when I got overwhelmed, because there was a point that I got overwhelmed, she outdid me because I can't sing the way she sings. I, I can't be a gymnast. That's the point that uh, we decided to bring other people on board to help her, to help her, to help, to help us coach her. And so far, so good. Yeah, we. I can say we spent more on her, on the co-curricular than than in her education <laughs> because, like right now, she's in an UK-based acting college where the sessions, we have to pay, <laughs> really pay for the sessions. Then all other things that she does, we pay. And, uh, okay, as you have said, it's investing. Because you are also looking at her future. Because at the same time, she also has to go to school. Uh, I don't really know, but acting, acting because I've seen big actors, big actors, I've seen big actors who have encouraged me a lot, like, for example, Lupita Nyong'o, she's my role model. I, I really want to be like her one day, and I just feel like acting is something inside you. Yeah, inside me. Her father is very supportive. Of course, I am her mentor, then her dad is the sponsor. Like he's the one who finances everything. So what we are doing, we are exposing her to all this, so that at the end of the day, she'll be the one to make a choice of who she wants to be. Yeah, that's that's basically what we're doing. I don't really have I don't have sisters. I just have brothers. I have two brothers. One is called Oliver. The other one is called Innocent. Innocent is 16 years old in form 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 three. Yes. Form three. And Oliver is a four year old who is in PP2, soon graduating to grade one. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm also an art teacher. I'm an art French teacher. Ninety-nine percent of the comments are very positive. But they start one one percent that's negative, bro. and we know we appreciate feedback. Feedback is very essential, whether positive, whether feed, whether negative. It helps us grow. So I have concerns on her being so much on social media. There are people who feel like she is too much on social media for her age, and. Uh, Okay, she's not the one behind those accounts. It's me. Mm-hmm. Because obviously I cannot let a 10-year-old on social media. It's a parent. I have to protect my child. She doesn't even know what is posted into social media accounts because she doesn't even access them. Uh, in a day, I can get more than 100 messages. So, you know, sometimes you can send a message then feel like we are... <coughs> We don't want to answer you. It's become, it becomes so overwhelming because I also have other issues to attend to. Yeah, but for those that I am able to answer, I, I answer them. Yeah, the big one, so he's very introverted, but he can really draw. He's a very good artist in drawing. The smaller one, I'm seeing him becoming a very good commentator <laughs> because he's too vocal. <laughs> he's just too vocal. I 
I just love all my fans. They are just amazing. They are, they're just... They're very supportive and I love them so much. I would tell them to always keep pushing through their talents. They should always trust in God. And above all, keep going, keep growing.